right now students in Spalding County are back in class today. It's the first time they've been able to do that since those tornadoes devastated their community one week ago. Atlanta News first reporter Rebecca Schramm is in Griffin where some students have actually had to relocate because their homes were damaged. I am at Orr's Elementary here in Griffin, and you can see some of the remnants of one of the tornadoes here just off campus. Today is just a half day. They want to see how many students can make it back to class right now with everything families are going through. They consider today a dry run logistically, not just to get a head count, but also to check in face to face with their students to find out what they need and what their families are up against. Many of the teachers and other school staffers this this past week have been volunteering to help. We were with employees at Griffin High School as they took time to hand out food and toiletries to people who could use it. We spoke with the media specialist at Griffin High School who talked about the importance of making sure students have what they need to succeed. We have a great uh, student body here. We have a lot of smart kids, a lot of kids with goals, and you know we do what we can on a day-to-day -day basis to motivate them, inspire them. One thing to keep in mind, internet service is really spotty right now in many parts of Griffin and Spalding County, so they're really having to go old school in terms of their teaching. In Griffin, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First.